Hillary Ryan is here. She's the marketing manager for Odor Eaters. Good morning. Good morning. So you guys have been doing something that's kind of fun and, and uh, cool. It's the start yeah. of the hockey season, and you have been setting out to help first-time hockey moms deal with that's all that right. comes with that. That's right. You know, I mean, even though um, the NHL is not active right now, minor league hockey certainly is. So there's a lot of activity out there. And we were really thinking about everything connected to hockey and how really hockey connects all of us from, you know, Mount Pearl, Newfoundland to Vancouver, B.C. And we were thinking about um, the fun parts of hockey, but obviously there's a not so fun part that everybody knows and no one really bag. talks about. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't hear the moms watching going, thank yeah. you yeah. for yeah. saving us. Right, it's exactly like right. And that's right? exactly what we were thinking. We were really feeling badly for them because really it's the mom who's driving all the little guys to and from the rink, spending all the weekends in the arena, and then coming home and dealing with it all again in the laundry room, airing mm. it out. And I think that we all probably know that disgusting smell. <laughs> so <laughs> we, we really yeah, thought, you know, yeah, what can we do? So we actually set up a hotline and we scoured the country from the East Coast to the West Coast. We found minor hockey teams. We talked to coaches and the coaches recommended seasoned hockey moms from all the minor hockey teams. And we set the hotline up so that the hockey moms could call in and leave tips and advice for rookie hockey That's moms. That's so great. Okay. So what and, were some uh, of the tips? Yes. So we got one from um, Early Carruthers in, uh, from the Ottawa Centers. And she said, you know, it's really terrific to have a checklist. Uh, it sounds simple, but you should have a checklist for everything that goes into the hockey bag. You can forget the mouth guard. You know, um, just recently my husband drove uh, the, the little guy of a friend of ours to a hockey game and they were all happy in the car, got to the arena and realized they forgot the hockey stick. So, you know, it right. really sounds simple. It's but chaotic. It's chaotic, it's chaotic and, and sometimes house, if you're going like early in the morning, yeah. it's, you know, could be yeah, the last thing on your mind. Smell? But the smell. No, what are the top tips the for getting rid of well, the smell? Well, so, so another can, um, person that we talked to, a seasoned hockey mom actually, uh, Natalie in um, Halifax with the Halifax Hawks. She said, you know what? She started her little guy at a very young age to be in the habit of getting home, opening up the bag, taking all his own equipment out, airing it out, putting some uh, powder into the skates, insoles in the skates, obviously that really makes a difference. Yeah. Um, you know, airing it out in a, in a large enough area like a basement or even on your balcony. What about hanging stuff out in the happen. sun, if in fact you have any sun? Wouldn't that be a good thing? That would be a great thing. Because you would think. That would be a but great thing. it's freezing thing. cold and if it's wet and sweaty, <laughs> isn't it going to get, it's going to freeze? People hang wet laundry out in the freezing cold. They do? Sure. They do, but does it work? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty well, fresh when it I, comes back well, inside. I think the, but exactly. the sun has a way of neutralizing and deodorizing and, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Should you get scented powder? Yeah, um, you know, and that's terrific for um, even inside the gloves. You know, uh, we were talking about how even gloves can have that odor to them. Yeah, so the sprinkling some powder in there, sprinkling yeah. powder even on the pads, laying those out, sprinkling some powder on the Get pads. Get that stuff out of there right away. Get Don't it out it right away, let it dry out, you of, know. Now you have lavender smelling equipment. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Odor Eaters has a powder that absorbs the odor and the wetness and, yeah. and all that I mean, smelly what do you do stuff. With the Where does that go? It, it actually absorbs right in there. Yeah, call the hazmat team. Yeah, yeah, so yeah you know, should have a gas mask and all of those so good things. So what happens when you know you start off, you get, you know, your hockey mom or dad, and the kids don't yes. open up, don't air out their equipment for a couple of days. You found out, oh, geez, now it's sitting in the bag, so it's really stinky. Do you have any tips for you know the, the equipment Emergency that's situations. really bad? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just it's sitting in the bag. You didn't air it out. You didn't put it outside. Honestly, like Dave said, I think you really need a gas mask and that. <laughs> because you are in for a lot of trouble. But I like what you were saying about uh, the, the, the tip from the mother saying get your kid involved even when they're little because mm -hmm. that will teach them all sorts of lessons and some women will appreciate that someday definitely, when they're an adult. Definitely. They have gotten you know, into the habit of taking care of their own stuff. There is so much responsibility and so many things that you know especially the mom or the dad has to think about and remember so if you can get that little guy working for you as well, early sure, as possible that it sure part helps, of participating right? in the sport yeah. taking care of your gear. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it should be your responsibility. And I like and, this. You know, you have to learn that at a young age, right? Sure, why not? Yeah. Kim from the London minor hockey uh, area said, 
watch the little ones on the ice. They will look up to see if you're watching, send oh. them encouraging smiles or waves. Like they will notice oh, if that you're counts. not paying attention. That counts True. big time. And that counts in any sport. I mean, you know, and we're talking about equipment even for soccer, for ringette. Um, for curling mm -hmm. and you know yeah and your, your little ones I mean that's what they're looking for is that encouragement so yeah, you know it's curling, is sweaty sport. <laughs> curling can be pretty sweaty. Be a sweaty sport it's true perfect sport for odor eaters right I mean you know you're putting those insoles right in there oh, exactly. so but yep. but you know I think that um, that's a really important tip that was that was almost a heartwarming one you mm -hmm. know because I mean it's thrill to see your little one on the ice for the first few times but then, you know, you might be tired, you might be looking at your coffee, you might be half asleep. Mm -hmm. But really, I mean, looking at the ice, waiting for your little guy to look up and wave at you. Or, yeah, it's, it's a really, really special yeah, moment. Special, Is that yeah. hotline still set up? It's still set up, yeah, and so we're still receiving tips. If and people go on your website, can they get that information? Yeah, yeah, okay. definitely. The website and the hotline, and you know, it's all accessible. Yeah. And we'll put that on ours as well, morningshow.ca, if you want that information. Valerie Ryan, the marketing manager for Odor Eaters, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It's been great. Ten